If you run an e-commerce business, whether it's Shopify, WooCommerce, Amazon, Etsy, whatever it is, then you have got to keep watching this video because I'm about to show you a messenger bot template that allows your users and customers to shop through all of your different products all within Messenger. But the real beauty is that you're getting them as a Messenger bot subscriber so that if you want to hit them a second, third, fourth time, then you can and you don't have to pay Facebook to run that ad to reach back out to them. So stay tuned, keep watching this video, and let's go ahead and jump into this Messenger bot template tour. All right, so here we are in the ManyChat platform where we built out this Facebook Messenger bot template. So it all starts with the JSON growth tool. Now the JSON growth tool is basically a tool that links up with your Facebook ads using this little code that you copy paste into your Facebook ads. And then when people click on that call to action button on your Facebook ad, it links them right into this message flow and starts this message flow inside the messenger bot, which, you know, sends them back and forth messages, they can click buttons, all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into looking at how this thing was all set up. So when they click that Facebook ad button, they're gonna be sent this message right here. It's gonna say, hey there, want to shop? And then you can insert your product type, insert a category, insert your store name, anything you want. It's basically a confirmational message just saying, hey, did you wanna shop our store? Click below now to go ahead and shop our store. So they click on yes, please. And it's gonna then open the flow the whole message flow that is going to have a lot more information in there. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is the overall flow. Now what this messenger bot allows you to do is have about 32 products that they can browse through when they're going through your messenger bot. If you wanna add more, it's as easy as copy pasting one of these bottom lines and then putting in a whole third row and that would allow you about 48 total products that they can browse through. Now. When they click on that uh, yes please button and links them into this flow, they're gonna get sent this message right here. Great first name, which would you like to check out first? Click below. Now this is when you wanna give them like two or maybe three, right now it's set up for just two categories of products. If you wanted to again add that third category of product, then that can expand it up to 48 total products. But right now it's just set up to give them two categories of products. So one category could be t-shirts, the other category could be sweatshirts, whatever you wanna do, right? So they click on, yes, I wanna shop through t-shirts or product type A. Then that's going to send them this first little box right here that they can swipe left on to be able to look through the different t-shirts. So here is where you wanna put your product title and then you can put some information right here, like click here to buy and then you'll put in your link to that actual product right here on this card. Now, like I said, you can swipe through the different products and obviously you're gonna to wanna to replace the product image with your actual product. With this gallery, they can swipe through four different products and then they can click this button here at the bottom saying see more or if you, can, if you wanna change this button text to say see more t-shirts, see more sweatshirts, whatever it is, they click on that and then that's gonna send them the next four products to go ahead and browse through and look through there. So then they have four here they can look through if they're not clicking at this point, then they can still click on see more, which is going to send them the next set of four products that they can look through. And again, they're just gonna swipe through. If they don't see anything they like, you know, then based on when you go through and you look at the actual message flows to see how people are interacting with this, if they're going through all these different products, like if basically they've seen at this point, if you see that they've seen 12 products and they still haven't clicked, because basically they can click on any of these cards, which is then gonna link them to the product page. If you're seeing that, then maybe you wanna change up the different products, right? Maybe you don't wanna have these products here at the front. Maybe you should switch this card with this message over here so that you're, you're giving them different products that they're seeing at different times. So maybe, you know, they're not intrigued by these products, but maybe these products are gonna catch their eye. Maybe there's more clickers, more products that are more intriguing over here. So again, if they say no and they wanna keep looking through these, then they'll send this message right here, which has four more products. Now on this set of four products right here, instead of saying see more, we're actually just linking them to shop all products, right? So this is where you'd wanna link them to your actual website. Maybe it's 
the whole sweatshirts or t-shirts category so they can look through all of them. Maybe you wanna link them to another page, whatever you know you wanna do, that's where you just click, that's where you'd put the link in here and they would link over to that special part of your website. Now going back to the original message that put them into that specific category and going through all those different products, if they clicked on product type B, that's gonna send them into this lower set of products right here. So this is sweatshirts, let's just say. So now they're looking through your different sweatshirt options, looking through the different designs and things like that. They wanna see more sweatshirts and they click there, which is gonna send them this set of four sweatshirts right here. And they're just gonna keep browsing through. So like I mentioned before, if you want to just have 32 product options for them to look through and then at the very end, it just links over to their site, then it's done, it's ready to go. You just need to change out the links and the images and maybe a little bit of copy. But if you want to expand it and go to 48 products, then all you have to do is hold shift. Now you gotta make sure that you're in the editor option right here. You hold the shift button and you're gonna wanna click and drag and select these four messages right there, right? You hit command copy or if you're on a Windows, hit control copy copy that and then unselect that and paste and then drag this one over here right so now we have 48 total products right there now we'll go to back to our original message and then we would say product type c or whatever right and then we're going to want to connect that button that product flow right there so maybe you got your first option is t-shirts your next option is sweatshirts and then maybe this option is shoes product type c is look through all the different shoes or purses or hats or whatever right now you have an easy way to just expand it to having more products like that so that essentially is the entire messenger bot again the beauty of this is that they're driving from a facebook ad into your messenger bot they're looking through all your products through Messenger, then they're gonna link over to your Shopify site. Check out this Messenger bot template, it is for sale. If you click the link below in the description or click the button associated with this ad, however you're viewing this, then that is how you go ahead and get your hands on this Messenger bot template so you can add it to your ManyChat account. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and if you're watching this on YouTube, then hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.